What's up guys? It's Alphatech and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a factory reset in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. I'll be doing that in two different ways and you can pick the, the, which one is better for you. The first is the basic way. It's easy. The second one is also easy. The first one is through your PC settings. The second one is through your command prompt or CMD. Uh, you should do a factory reset if you if you're having any kind of problems with your computer if it's slow for example if it's full of viruses a really good thing to do is factory reset actually uh, it's a good thing to do from time to time because it prevents all the viruses on your computer to do some serious or even permanent damage on your computer and nobody wants that so let's get to the first way you go to your Windows button and click on it. When this page opens, you need to find your PC settings. For at my computer, it's here. So go to your PC settings, and you're going to be getting this window. So go to the last option, update and recovery. Okay, again, last option, recovery. If you want to do a factory reset, the second option is actually a factory reset it's so you you are gonna do that by clicking on this button get started but let me tell you something first about this thing about refreshing of your p refreshment of your pc uh, you do that if you're having any type of problems with your computer but it's not guaranteed that will fix it when you do a refreshment of your computer you're still leaving all your files on, on your computer so you're not losing any files but you need to have in mind that you're not losing any viruses they're still there and when you're doing a factory reset you're just removing everything from your computer and you're reinstalling windows back again so definitely if you're having problems with the viruses you should do a factory reset so let me show you how it's done click on get started and it says now preparing it should start yeah it's preparing and you need to wait until it prepares itself this can take for a very long period of time so you need to be patient it all depends on how good is your computer and how damaged does he have or anything uh, if you have many files it's gonna take long to prepare all this my computer is right now in really good shape and it shouldn't take long for about one or two minutes okay here it is but I'm not gonna do a system a system reset right now because I've done it uh, I think about 10 days ago uh, but from this point forwards it's just easy just clicking on next and agree and all those things I'm sure you know it if somebody doesn't know how to do it contact me through the comments or on my email okay so now I'm gonna be clicking cancel okay now I'm gonna show you the second option you're doing that through the run now you need to click on your Windows button on your keyboard and hold it on your keyboard windows button click and plus press R and you're gonna be getting this window another way to get to this window is by clicking on here with your right mouse button and clicking on run you just need to type in CMD CMD and click enter or okay it doesn't matter and you'll be getting this black window okay you need to type in system reset space line factory reset so I'm gonna show you how to do that a letter by letter so system reset space that's very important line factory 
reset and then when you done that you need to click enter and the process is starting again so again I'm not gonna be doing that so the, you just need to wait as I said in the first part of video so I'm just gonna click cancel I hope this was helpful if it was please give me thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching and see ya